guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new hello hi i'm katie and welcome back if you're a new subscriber i hope you're enjoying vlogmas so far if you are give this video a little thumbs up um so today i'm going to be reviewing the charlotte tilbury what's it called the charlotte tilbury airbrush foundation so it's new i've not used it before um i usually use the magic foundation um and i'm also i did also also treat myself to this little duo this little bundle set so if you want me to review this as well let me know in the comment section below so basically it's the magic cream and the new elixir serum very excited about that one very excited about that one um so yeah if you want me to review that one as well leave me a comment down below um and let's just get straight I'm into really it really excited to try it on and see how it sort of sits and see how the color is for me um so if you go on charlotte silver online they do have a color match um, free consultation I think that you can get online so you I didn't do it which was probably a bit stupid but I was just really impatient and then it was like the last day of the Black Friday sales and I hadn't booked it so I would definitely recommend doing that however that you can put your current foundation in they have like a really long list of loads of different foundations that you can um, put in and and then it will give you one um, that they recommend for you so basically I did that um, and then I looked at the shades and I sort of just picked what normally looks like my shade online because I do tend to pick my foundation online anyway. It's not always the best idea, not gonna lie, but let's just get into it anyway. So this is the Airbrush Flawless that I picked up. So I picked it up in the shade 6, neutral. Um, I do know that what's really good with Charlotte Tilbury is if it's the wrong colour, you can actually send it back even if you've tested it once. So that for me is like amazing and not a lot of other stores offer that um, because I actually bought a Giorgio Armani one once and it was like 50 quid nearly and it was the wrong colour. I've still got it and I just like mix it with a bit of darker one and um, it was too light but so yeah definitely if it doesn't, it's not the right colour that comes for you definitely send it back. Um, like I mentioned I normally use the Magic Cream so I was really excited to try the Airbrush Flawless. I feel like it's meant to be a little bit more... Um, coverage than the magic so the magic i found quite light and when i started using magic i i didn't really like it if i'm honest but but by the time i met a bottle was at the end i was devastated because i got really used to using it i really liked it so this is obviously my first impression today of this um so it may be different after me using it after a while i feel like with different foundations you've got to use different techniques to put them on um and sometimes it just takes a bit of trial and error working that out so bear with me on that one um, so all I've done this morning is I've cleansed my skin with um, some vitamin C serum, no, what is it called? The Super Facialist Vitamin C Cleanser, um, it's like an oil based cleanser, it's lovely and then I've just toned with um, a rose toner and I'm going to pop on these now which I felt like I'd wait to share them and pop them on here. So I have actually done a magic cream review on my channel but that again was the first time I'd ever used magic cream. So it wasn't like a real representation of it and I just felt like I wasn't 100% sold at that time. Um, so I will do another review of the magic cream because I feel like it is one of those things, it is an investment isn't it and you're like but at the end of the day your skin and like your appearance and you know that for me I want to look after that so I feel like it's worth investing in. So it comes in this beautiful box. So this is the Magic Serum Elixir, the new crystal one, which is um, meant to be amazing. So I'm very excited to try that. And I'm just going to get the Magic Cream out. So that's the iconic Magic Cream. Now, I still haven't bought myself the night cream, but I feel like that's the next thing on my list. But one thing at a time, isn't it? One thing at a time. Let's not go crazy. So I feel like serum always should go on before cream, if you didn't know that. Basically, it penetrates deeper into the skin. So I would love to know how much of this I need to use, but I'm not going to go crazy with it. So we'll just try like a little drop all over. I thought that was very sparse, but it might need a little bit more than that. <laughs> Let's try a little bit more than that. The skin actually feels very dry today as well. It has got really cold all of a sudden, so I'm not sure if that's something to do with it, but it tends to like sort of soak up any creams, any serums um, straight away. So it's got a lovely 
smell. The smell of it actually reminds me if anyone's ever used Elemis products. It smells quite like a spa treatment product. And I'm actually gonna use a tiny bit more on my neck because I feel like that's an area that we should not neglect. You should always work your products up um, on the skin. You should never drag them down. Because obviously if you think about it, it's like dragging the skin down. So always try and like work your products up as much as you can and then on the neck as well. So I'm gonna pop the magic cream on now. That does really smell like, literally smells like a facial that you'd have in a spa. Look, I use this quite heavily, but I feel like my skin always needs like quite a heavy, heavy moisturizer. It just, it just sort of glides so nicely. And it does leave this sort of like really lovely sort of natural glow on your skin. Like you could use this. I'm not sure if anyone's ever tried the Hollywood filter. It's a foundation, but it's like you wear it under foundation, if that makes sense. Um, so it's not like a, a full on foundation. It's nice for like no makeup days. But actually, sometimes I do have no makeup days where I actually just have skincare on. Um, and I think this and the Hollywood filter is a lovely, like, no makeup look if you still want a little bit of something. But you can probably just see now, like, how glowy that has made that, like, super glowy. Um, so it is, it is a treat. It is a treat. And I do... To be honest, for me, like, I feel like I know it's doing good for my skin because I read all the reviews and everything that's in it. But at the same time, for me, it's like, I feel good putting it on. I think for me, that's what it is with the magic cream. It's like, it just makes me feel a little bit extra, which I like to feel because at the same time, like, I look outside, it's raining. I live in rainy Wales. I like to feel a little bit extra sometimes. And this really helps on a daily basis. So anyway, let's get on to the foundation. So like I said, I bought number six, neutral. Natural, neutral, neutral, not natural. Um, this is what it looks like. It's absolutely just a gorgeous on after. Um, so I always put it on my hand to start with and I'll just do two little pumps. And then I'm gonna try it today with my Dior brush. So I bought this on recommendation of Nadia Anya. I do really like it, how it does sometimes leave lines. So you kind of have to make sure you sort of like buff rather than do lines. Um, this looks quite dark, but I mean, I feel like I do need a bit of color at this time of year. Um, but I also just want to like see it going into my skin. So I'm just gonna use my little mirror here. Oh, it's a lovely shade. I picked well on the shade. Oh, I like it. I already know I like it. <laughs> also, I just feel like the magic cream is like a perfect prep for the skin. Like it just gets it ready. Like, I don't know if the, you might think this is a little bit dark for me, but I really like, I don't like looking pasty. Just don't, I just don't do pasty. I actually could have done with one pump, I think. I've put too much on. Um, put too much on my hand so I'm just gonna use a little bit more of it but there's still all that on my hand so I actually only really did only need one pump um, unless you wanted to like layer it up but I'm not gonna I'm gonna go for a little bit more of like a a natural today I mean it's lovely oh my god I much prefer it to the magic much prefer it I'll use a little bit more for my neck Oh my god, it's so much better coverage than the magic. So, initial first re result, so much more coverage than the magic. So much more, if I believe it. I want to put this back in, but I don't know if I can. Oh, I can't. That makes me really sad. I can't waste all that. I think that's given such a flawless base, hasn't it? And I haven't even put any concealer on, no primer, nothing. Literally flawless. I'm obsessed. I love it. I love Charlotte Tilbury products. Like before I was like, oh, I don't really get like the hype around them. Like makeup, just makeup. But if you've not tried them, you'll be hooked. Like you'll be hooked. So definitely give them a go. I'm gonna carry on the rest of the look now. Um, 
but yeah like i said i'm just gonna do an every day but there is an eyeshadow palette in there that i really want to try so i may do a video with the eyeshadow palette like a whole shot of look so if you want to see a whole shot of look actually leave me a comment down below let me know um we'll do that because let me just show you the eyeshadow palette right this is how it comes so it already just looks like a little diamond of joy luxury palette of pops it's called pillow talk and then it comes like this and oh my god those aren't the most dreamy colors you have ever seen very excited to try them out and um, so that is my initial thoughts on the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation and um, Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I hope you guys did enjoy today's quick and um, sh snappy video. So I just thought I'd share with you guys quickly the finished look um, with the foundation. I haven't done like any concealer or anything like that. I've literally just gone in with a little bit of bronzer um, and a little bit of highlight for Charlotte Tilbury obviously. And um, yeah, this is the finished look. So I really love the foundation and... I'm very impressed. I'm very, very impressed with it. As you can tell, I'm not doing my hair today because it's raining. I just think there's no point. I'm actually going to get my hair done later. So, um, yes. I also forgot to mention that the product retails for £34. But I do have, if anyone wants to go on Charlotte Tilbury, I have a voucher for £20 off if you spend £100. This is not sponsored. I just have it from shopping there. Um, so if anyone wants it, get over to my Instagram at with love Katie and two underscores and send me a message and I will happily share the code with you. I don't think I've got that many so obviously like the sooner you do it the better um, and I know that they do do a discount of 10% off as well if you sign up to their mailing list I think it is um, so it's definitely worth doing that as well and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you're enjoying vlogmas so far if you are give it a little thumbs up if there's any videos you really want to see um please leave them down below me and reese are going to do a q a as well so if you do have any questions for us um feel free to ask us anything and if you wanted to keep it private by all means you can send me a dm over on instagram i'm at with love katie and two underscores otherwise just leave your questions down below or your video ideas for the rest of vlogmas i hope you're feeling nice and festive and i will hopefully see you in the next one bye we know I'll die